there were fights all over the city. Mm. Wrecks all over the city. Hotels were $1,500 a night. First thing, uh, KD, I had a comedy show out of town this weekend. Mm. How'd it go? It went great, actually. It went really good. Me and Jermaine Funny Man uh, Johnson did a comedy show down at the Sangus Theater Dope. in Mobile, Alabama. Amazing. But I wanted to rent a car. I wanted to drive my truck down there. I wanted to rent a car, go down there, you know, do my show, come right back. Mm. KD, there were no rental cars in Atlanta this weekend. Not I'm not surprised. A rental car, not even a scooter. Me. There was not a rental car available. There wasn't even a Chevrolet Spark available. There were no... That's tool. a car? Yeah, that's a car. There were even no smart cars available. There was nothing... I went to the cars available even at the airport, and the page was blank. That lets you know how electric this city was this particular weekend. After yeah. they, nobody was supposed to come. Nobody was supposed to come. Nobody was supposed to go. But they came. Wow. Oh, they came. I'm not surprised. Uh, wow. You shouldn't be surprised because wow. let's be realistic. But, but, we're, we're but, open. But, but let's also be very clear. People who live in Atlanta were not out in that foolishness. It yeah. was people coming from no. elsewhere. Oh, yeah. No, people that stay clear. here, we was in the house chilling. I'm sorry. Did you see 75 at all this weekend? No, because I was in the house yeah. chilling. I did not. Nope. No, no. I, I didn't go, go anywhere. I had, I had to drive through it coming back from Mobile. Sir. A mess. I've never heard my GPS say... Your route has been delayed an hour and 20 minutes in the middle of me going to one location at a time. Just because everybody kicking it. They going to brunch. They going to party. Everybody trying to get downtown, too. Because it wasn't that many people at the game. They were here for the festivities. Mm -hmm. They were here to kick it and have a great and amazing time. But they did too much, Katie. There were fights all over the city. Mm. Wrecks all over the city. Hotels were $1,500 a night. To come here for the All-Star game, to not go to the game. Just to be here for the parties. I hit the mic. That happened on purpose. <laughs> if I paid $1,500 for a hotel room, though, I probably wouldn't leave it. That's the problem, though. Some people didn't want to leave their hotel, Tiny. One guy had a hotel that was, th was $1,300 a night. Somebody told me uh, $1,300 a night. Goes downstairs to the lobby to get a drink with his girl. And there was 100 people in the corner shooting craps. Uh-uh. <laughs> Luxury hotel. Welcome Katie. to Atlanta where the play is play. Gambling in the corner. There was a fight in Cumberland Mall over some shoes. I'm not surprised by that. To where? To the party, the after party for the All-Star game. It was out of control this weekend, man. That's Atlanta. They had a good time. All this representation for the HBCUs. And they're trying to figure out why, why COVID don't go somewhere and behave. It's never going to behave. We're priming it every week. Clubs were sold out. $100 entry fee. I saw, I saw some footage of Sweet Lounge. Oh, man. The parking lot was stupid. Oh man, that was nowhere to park. So no, okay, so so people were really out. out. Yes, and this was in the daytime. daytime. I'm thinking promoters are going to take a bath this weekend nope. because not a lot of people are going to be out. But nope. that that was so far from the case. They had day parties. They had midday parties. Didn't the commissioner say y'all don't come here? KD. Didn't didn't Keisha Lance Bottom say we full? There were brunch spots. Nobody that cared about had, that. You had to pay hundred dollars to go in to go in to eat brunch. That's to get in. So you go order your food. It's going to cost you hundred dollars. Pay $100 to get in and then pay for your food to chill. I, I, this is, it's crazy. This is tripping me out. I, I, have, I, don't, I don't have words for this. Like, a, man. How is that even a, a thing in the middle of a pandemic, yo? Atlantans don't think, first of all, let's be clear. Everybody's in a pandemic except Atlanta. This Atlanta true. ain't got no pandemic. These folks don't know. They don't care about wearing a mask, going, staying at the house. They're going to clubs to stand on tables and booths. And twerk. I don't know what and to turn think up about and this, mimosas, really and that's what they did. They did what they wanted to do. They kicked it. 